Hey everybody, I am finally doing this twist out tutorial for you. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm from Russia Slaughter. I am the owner of Soul Russia. I am a seamstress, but I also share my natural hair journey with you as well. So, my hair is already washed. Um, so basically what you want to do is want to use some oil. I use herbal oil by Africa's Yes. You're just going to spread that around the front the back. And in the middle. The key to your hair growth is moisture. I keep, it doesn't matter what I do to my hair, it keeps growing and growing because I keep it moisturized. Now some days it do look a little dry, but um, also you want to use, um, I use, right now I'm currently using the olive oil cholesterol or you can use leave-in conditioner. It looks the same. I mean, it may be a different color, but it's in the same type of jar. So you will use that. I always spread the front and the back. You have to get the edges. <clears throat> then just spread it throughout the hair then I use this lock and twist gel which helps hold in the moisture and all of this you can get from Walmart for $5 and under. So the front, the back, and spread it all throughout. Let's see if I got a towel over here. <clears throat> okay. So, to detangle my hair, I use this brush. It's by Revlon. Um, it has the little bristles on it. So you just, I never use a comb, although I do have a wide tooth comb. I did buy a wide tooth comb, but I only use it for parting. So to detangle it, I use this brush. And it does pretty good. And my daughter is very, her head, her head is very sensitive. So this helps. I mean, she still cries, but it helps a whole lot more than a comb. She doesn't cry as much. And it's gonna get out of all the knots. Okay, my brush fell apart, but Okay, so to do a twist out, you are going to just, and I'm going to look off into the mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing, kind of part it. And actually, you really don't need the comb after this point. You just take little parts of your hair. And you can use a brush, um without the bristles to kind of smooth it out. Or you can use this. And what you're going to do is, I don't know if you can see it with all this, this forest. Okay, so. <laughs> all right, so. All right, I'm gonna have to pin this up. All right, let me see. I'm gonna have to pin the rest up. So you can see it. So what you need to do is part it and you're going to twist it like this. 
just twist it. And boom that's it so you're just going to continue to do it do about one more You're just going to do this all around your head. Yeah. And you might want to make it a little wide, a little big. And don't make them too small because you kind of want a wavy effect. So, And it should take you no more than, I'd say 20 to 30 minutes to do, depending on how big you make them around your whole head. So, this is going to be the last one, and then I'm going to... Go to the next step. And you might want to pin all of this back so that it doesn't get, see how they got caught in there? That don't belong in there. So you might want to pin all of this back while you're, you know, doing it in sections. Each section. Uh oh. What is this black stuff on my hand? Lord, I done touched something. I hope it ain't in my hair. Okay. So, that is how it's going to look. Your hair should look like this. Good morning. It is the next morning. And you're going to take your bonnet off. Okay, let's try. And your hair should still be twisted like this. Make sure it's dry. And um, it should be dry. So you are going to take it down. Just un untwist it. Now, I have seen people leave it kind of chunky like this, and you can, even with this, I think, 
go ahead and bend on. You could throw a headband on and kind of rock it like that. Or kind of space it out a little more. To give a fuller effect. So this is how it looks a little more spaced out. It looks full. And you can throw a headband on too with this style. And you'll be done. You can do it that way. Or if you don't choose not to have a headband, take that off. You can style it. So let's say you want to part. I'm going to use my wide tooth comb. Say you want to part in the middle. I love my parts. What I'm going to use is Kim Cole's Edge Control. I don't know if she ships, but I will link her information. If you want to get in contact with her, here's a close up of it. See, that might look a little blurry. Uh-oh. Well, I'm going to put it in the description. And you just lay your edges down. This brush is a little soft. I hate soft brushes. I don't burn it for mama, but. <laughs> See? And this is perfect for the office. On the go, wherever you be, this is a perfect style. Easy overnight. Let's see. And even if you choose not to part it, you can leave it in like Afro form. So that is it. And you just kind of play it around with it until it lays however you want it to lay. I had to figure that out, how people would get their hair a certain way. You got to kind of fluff it out and play with it a little bit to get it to where you want it to be. So, there you go. Make sure y'all follow my, fa my Facebook page and my Instagram page. It's K Slaughter Customs, that's my sewing page. Um, that's K S L A U G H T E R C U S T O M S. I am also known as So Russia, um, Co Russia Slaughter. So until next time, see y'all later. Bye.